What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug. Welcome back to WWE 2K15 2021 on the PS5. Now, in the game in 2021, March. And yesterday was definitely a setback in my goal of winning that WWE title. Uh, I got injured. I fought Roman, who was champion. I beat him in a non title match, but then John Cena beats him at the chamber. We're still heading towards Mania. I'm still booked somewhere on the card for Mania, and I hope it is indeed for that title. Hashtag beat up John Cena. So let's hit next. Let's say attack slug. It looks like you're after my belt. Finally. I think the universe has already chosen who they want as their champion. Just listen to them, and you'll find out that I'm the champ. The champ is here. So yes, I'm heading toward a John Cena match. Oh, good God. Heading toward a John Cena match at Mania, thank God. We'll end it on the grandest stage of them all, then go to the Hall of Fame, and then be done with this game series. I thought I'd be done in a month, and I spent a month and a half now, but here we are. You just can't escape the face that runs the place. But welcome to a fine to the day on the program. We are here doing it on Tuesday. And, obviously, Raw was last night. Plenty to discuss from Raw, shockingly enough. Things happened that are worth discussing, but obviously we have news first. And the first news is that NXT TakeOver UK Dublin has officially been cancelled. Not happening. So, a shame, but that's how things go these days with everything going on in the world. So, that sucks. But, NXT is tonight, and Balor returns to... NXT. We were hoping to see on that Dublin takeover, Balor and Walter, but looks like not happening. Not happening. Also in the news, Kip Sabian, the whole reason that I had Miro attack him on Dynamite was because he's injured and needs some surgery. No word on what, that's, what that actually is and how long he'll be out, but that, that is the word going around on that. Double underhook butterfly pinfall. One. The Tiger Bomb, if you will. But it is what it is with the Pele cake. Now, I didn't mention yesterday, but I did want to mention that Jay White is the new uh, Never Openweight Champion, which makes him a Grand Slam for all of the IWGP singles titles. He was World Champion, he was IC Champion, he was the um, US Champion, and now he is the Never Openweight Champion. So congrats to the Switchblade Breed with that Switchblade. And... We have a return on WWE main event, and it is the modern-day Maharaja Jinder Mahal beating Jeff Hardy with one half of Indus Share and a different guy who is not in Indus Share. So I don't know. What I do know is that Destiny. Not enough. Not enough. Attack slug terrible at tapping out anybody. Shouldn't have stolen that cross arm breaker. What are you going to do? Referee bump. Referee bump. You can't pin me here and tap me out on a ref bump. It's not happening. So, Monday Night Raw began with a coin flip to see who was going to fight the Almighty Champion in a non-title match on the show. And it was indeed Braun Strowman, the monster among men versus Lashley in that main event. Sure. Okay. It was the return of AJ Styles. And his colossal tag team partner, Omos. Uh, and they had the New Day in a very long promo. Which was like, are you guys just having to kill time? There it is. Tappa, tappa, tappa. I did that. Like, we already knew that that match was booked for those Raw tag titles. So why the long back and forth promo? Again, it's a three hour broadcast. So, alright. I guess. Four stars... Hey, Attack Slug, that match was okay, I guess, but it wasn't championship worthy. This belt, ah, 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 John Cena, you can't say belt. That's a banned word. A belt, hold your pants up. This belt knows exactly where it belongs, around my waist, like your belt. It's a, it's a title, John Cena, a championship. It is not a belt or a strap, for that matter. Zeus Tucker, again. Okay, Tucky. Good God, we fight Tucky one more time. What are the chances that we'll see John Cena here interfering somewhere? I don't know. It's possible. So, predictably, AJ and Omos 
get it done one more time against the New Day and are still your reigning, defending Raw Tag Team Champions. That's, yeah, all right. Now, one of the big stories from last night is the video promo package here for the return of all Red Earthang, Eve Marie. And if you're surprised by that, then you don't pay attention to wrestling news because that was out there like months ago. Hey, they signed her to a new deal. Of course, everyone involved denied it, but much like Edge, yeah, all right, not happening, Edge, sure. You're retired, sure. And guess who's back at the Rumble? It's Edge. So this one was a matter of time before she came back. But the timing on this is rough. Having just fired Nikki James, Chelsea Green, the Iconics, and you bring in Eva Marie. And it's like, okay, look, understandably, signed months ago. So just the timing on this debut, had it happened before everyone got fired, then it would have looked a little bit different, but it looks a little rough comparatively uh, at the moment because we know that her in-ring acumen is basically zero. Uh, it's bad. It's real bad. And to be fair, if they've hired her and brought her in for literally anything except wrestling, that's fine. I'm okay with that. We'll see where it goes. But she has not worked a match since 2016. If she'd been out there on the Indies or Ring of Honor or anywhere else working matches, that'd be just okay because the only way to get better at wrestling is by doing wrestling. That's the whole point. The fact that Lana has worked twice the matches that Eva has should tell you everything you need to know about the, the quality of the in-ring for Eva Marie. So hopefully she's not back here to wrestle, but we'll see. And so evolution is a mystery indeed. Four and a half stars, John Cena. Is that not enough? Looks like the universe wants more than just your average title match. And I'm feeling pretty nice today, so I'll let you choose the stipulation for Wrestle Freaking Mania. So we got a cage match, a TLC match, a last man standing match, and an all out war. Let's make it a tables match. I feel like if we're going big and we're going huge and it's John Cena, Mr. Never Give Up, then the last man standing sounds like the best idea here. Let's do that for WrestleMania. I'm going to put you down for good, John Cena. You think you can outlast me in a last man standing match. You are way too full of yourself. Just get ready to go to sleep for that 10 count. Uh, you're not CM Punk. I'm not, I'm not going to sleep. Sorry. Oh, good guy. So... Attack Slug, Corey Graves versus John Cena and El Hondero in the building in a nonsense tag team match that has no real consequences. So why even sit here and do the whole thing? We'll see. Like, honestly, just get me DQ'd. I don't really care, but it's John Cena. So hashtag beat up John Cena. German suplex. So yes, the Eve Marie thing is we'll see how it goes. But if she's going to be back in ring, that's going to be a disaster. Uh, waiting to happen because she's not working any matches in five years. So, you know, even when you are a top tier quality competitor that has a decade of experience, if you're off for a couple of years, ring rust is a real thing. So her having like 113 matches in her whole career, yeah, it's more than just ring rust. Uh, that thing is going to be a nightmare. A nightmare. And I don't mean Rhea Ripley. So, Elias and Jackson Riker have the worst vision in the world. They wanted to hit the New Day with tomatoes and instead hit Randy Orton while looking ahead the entire time and not seeing Randy Orton. I understand. His whole thing is out of nowhere. I get it. But still, the entire suspension of disbelief there was not, not great. That makes a match for later in the evening. Charlotte Flair out there fighting Dana Brooke. And that happened, and beating D Dana Brooke. I do appreciate them mentioning that Charlotte and Dana have history. When Dana got called up from NXT and was with Emma, and Emma got hurt, they put Dana with the Queen. Like, that happened. That is historical. So, at least they acknowledge that on commentary, and I appreciate that. Attitude adjusted. John Cena, Hondero, Savior of uh, Misbehavior, Corey Graves. Um, no... John Cena with his comeback? Nah, John Cena. 
No comeback for you. Guess what? That's not going to happen, C Nation. Not hardly. And yeah. Hondero is back in the ring so smooth and so fast. And it's just... It's not great, man. It's not great, John Cena. I don't repeat. Oh, okay. Nah! Pele kick. So, after the match, which the Queen handily won, because she is the Queen, we had an in-ring thing here with Sonya Deville, and... Yeah. I don't care. Come on, Hondero. Come on, Hondero. Come here. DQ. And that will happen to you, John Cena, for a 10 count at WrestleMania. It seems like the universe is buzzing on our pay-per-view match, and honestly, I can't wait either. Oh, look at that. Dustin is here. All right. So, Sonya and Charlotte. Uh, I appreciate the whole fair to flair thing, because that's a, a old school call back there from Ric Flair. Uh, it's not fair to flair from, from Keenan from, what was that, the Rumble 92? Something like that. So, yes, that was cool. Uh, but they're putting Charlotte in the uh, Raw women's title match with Asuka and Rhea at Backlash. And it's like, can you have a... Is it possible to have a feud with Charlotte that does not involve a title somewhere? Like, seriously. I feel like it's, it's impossible these days. But hey, it is what it is. And that ended up with a brawl between those three in the ring. Because, of course, it did. Why wouldn't it? Um, Sheamus out there doing his thing thang and getting uh, attacking Umberto backstage but also backstage Sonya talking to Adam Pierce and what is lurking in the background Lily is there in the background so teasing some things perhaps we'll find out on that l later on in what that meant perhaps maybe um but it might be important might might not could be a swerve but Alexa doing the same thing that Bray was doing there with the puppets for a bit, so that is not surprising in that. So she has the powers now of darkness or whatever. Now, Morrison fought Priest. Priest beats Morrison. That feud continues for whatever bizarre reason it does. I don't know where it's going to go, but yeah, it's continuing. Goldust. What we do? So, um, Mansoor has signed to Raw. He is no longer a 205 Live competitor. He's officially on Monday Night Raw, and Sheamus wanted a piece of him on his first night on the program. Cool, right? Um, the Lucha House Party fought Cedric and Shelton. I hit Triangle, and it didn't do Triangle. Huh? He dragged him and then didn't do the move. Triangle? Jeez Louise. Easy peasy. So, um... That ended up with LHP winning that match. And surprisingly, Cedric and... Bro, break! Cedric and Shelton have now broken up, according to Cedric. That he's done with Shelton. He wants to win her beardness and all that stuff. So, yeah. They were not only tossed out of the Hurt Business, they were also said, hey, no more tag teams. I guess because we now have RK Bro, Vince is like, that's too many tag teams. Have one break up. It's so dumb. Now, backstage with Angel Garza and uh, Gulak. Guess, guess who's also backstage watching that? Lily. Which led to a Garza and Gulak match. Which led to Garza literally kicking a rose up Gulak's butthole. What is this show? I'm sure Vince said that was hilarious, but what is this show? Four and a half stars. Looks like you're on a roll. Attack Slug, I better bring my best. Big match, John. If you're going to walk out as the champ and be here. It is still March. Where is April? Where is WrestleMania? Are we here? Yes, last man standing. Wrestle freaking mania. It's time. And so the one shining beacon on this show that is still entertaining and I enjoy is RK Bro. Having the having the grizzled veteran Randy Orton be just constantly annoyed by Matt Riddle is just that dynamic. It works so well, and I enjoy it so much. But they fought Elias and Riker, and again they beat Elias and Riker as they should 
So they are two in bro. Anyhow, Sheamus fought Mansoor in a non-title match. And if you have not paid attention to the internet, Mansoor was 49 victories in a row. The streak. And it ends due to a disqualification because in comes Umberto to attack Sheamus. So Sheamus wins that match. It is a DQ. And the streak is over. Sorry, Mansoor. That streak only ever existed because they want to keep a certain Saudi prince happy. Just saying. An attack slug in his second ever WrestleMania. This time in the main event. Last time, Prisha. Because if I am fighting John Cena with that WWE title, you are sure it is the main event of the evening here at WrestleMania. Now then, we had our Alexa Bliss uh, backstage, you know, swing set thing with Lily. And she mentioned that Lily likes the color red. So, Sonny Deville wearing a red suit. And Angel Garza had the red rose. But also even Marie, all red orifang. So, that's a, a lot of possible things to happen there with that whole thing. I don't know. We'll see. But, Naomi and Lana had their match versus Nia and Shayna for those Raw women's titles. And it was like a two-minute match. And they just squashed, done. So, yeah. A shame, but what are you going to do? Main event was Lashley and Braun. And because of McIntyre, then you know Lashley won that match. And next week, he'll fight Drew. And I imagine the same nonsense happens backwards where Braun will totally distract and then we'll have Lashley beating Drew next week in the go-home show for that triple threat match happening on Backlash. Because that's how wrestling works. Like, what else are you going to do? So, yeah. That was Raw. A few interesting things happened there. But it is still a three-hour slog of a show to get through every single week. And speaking of slogs here, let's get through John Cena. Hashtag beat up John Cena. And hopefully end this show tomorrow going into the Hall of Fame. That's the plan. The slug is here. Last man standing. It all comes down to this. John Cena. We shall see whose attitude gets adjusted. The knee. The knee to begin. Ground and pound on John Cena. Gonna hit everything in my equation. Nope. Not that. Everything in my arsenal, I should say. Nope, John Cena. Oh my god. Chain wrestling with John Cena. I don't want that. I really don't. But here we are. And here we go. Big fight feel. Big match, John. You know how it goes here on the show. Can I break the hold? No. I have to now do the circle thing. And yep. You can't wrestle. You know. All that stuff going on with John Cena. That's what we do here. So get it up to a circle. Push him away. And hit that. Miss that. I tried. I tried. Oh, Lord, did I try, John Cena. But you're getting DDT'd into oblivion because that's what I do. The knee and taunt the man. And springboard the man. Yeah, crossbody. Pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up. The disaster strikes again. Springboard styling botch. Almania. John Cena works the leg. Listen here, John boy. Listen here, John boy. You think, you thought, you wish, you hope it's not going to happen. Like, none of this is going to happen. You're going to go down to a tax slug. Going to win this clean with a last man standing match. John Cena, the backbreaker. I'm at 88%. You're going to see some serious beardness. All right, 100%. Hit that signature. Pick him up. And hit the very first of, I assume, many attitude adjustments. John Cena, now stay down. Count, ref. He's got his comeback. Really? Really? All right. Bringing out the hardware here. Bring out the hardware. John Cena. Last man standing. No DQs. It all comes down to this. Oh my! Alright, John Cena. What do you have left? How much grit do you have to beat 
the attack slot. Is that enough? Seven? Seven. Okay. All right. It sounds like John Cena needs to go through a table. So, all right, the kendo stick. Look, John, deal with that. I'm getting this table out. That's what we're doing here. So exhausting. Four. Five. Get out of the way, guys. We're doing a, t a spot here on this table. Seven. Eight. Nine. Didn't even need it, John Cena. Didn't even need it. And no. WWE Champion. Attack slot. Finally. And here's just some of the action. Here's just some of the highlights. Yeah, that's funny. The Slughood Dream has come true. Me? Me? A WrestleMania moment here has happened. He did it, folks. I did it. On the grandest stage of them all. The showcase of the Immortals. It has finally come true. John Cena could not reach that standing 10 count. Attack slug is here. Pyro, please. Pyro, come on. Confetti. Come on, man. What? Got to give the people what they want. Fine. You can hold that belt for now, but I'll be back soon. Keep it, keep it polished for me. And of course, now I hold it until I lose it. So let's work Money in the Bank and SummerSlam and Hell in a Cell. I don't know. Fine, whatever. Beep, 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 beep. Here are the credits. Beep, 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 beep. I beat the game. Thanks, John Cena. Your time is up. My time is now. After winning the WWE Championship, Attack Slug joined the likes of John Cena, The Rock, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. He was a dominant champ and the true face of the WWE. After 15 years of memorable matches, the only thing left for the universe is to see one last match. The year is 2030, and Attack Slug has been champion for 10 years. I don't know. But that one final match, that one last beat, will be tomorrow on the show. Tune in for that. I'm Attack Slug. See you then. See you next time. See you here. And I'm out.